Good afternoon. In the previous class, we talked about conversation. How can you make your conversation a good one? We talked about the characteristics of conversation in which we discussed about how can a conversation be an interesting one? How do you indulge your audience? How do you take care of your audience? And what all skills are needed to make a conversation a good one? In today's lecture, in addition to what we have learned in the previous lecture, we are going to move ahead and we are going to talk about the qualities of a good conversationalist. So, let us begin. As you can see, the first quality is sincerity. Now, when you are in a conversation, when you are talking with somebody, you need to be sincere about the topic that you are talking. By sincerity, we mean that you should do a homework about what you are going to say, how are you going to take your topic, how are you going to take the examples and what should be your reaction if the person takes it in a negative way or in a positive way, how do you encourage that person to speak more or how do you encourage that person to converse with you in a proper manner. That all things are included in sincerity. Next, we say adaptability. Now, here adaptability means you should adapt yourself very well to your audience. You should know with whom you are talking, with whom you are having a conversation. Is it with your friend? Is it with your colleague? Is it with your boss or some superiors? Or is it with your subordinate? So, you have to adapt your conversation according to the person whom you are talking to. On the basis of that, you have to design your conversation. You have to make a framework of your conversation at the back of your mind and then continue with that. Next, we say courtesy, that is being polite. Politeness is something that is very very important you should be polite in your conversation whenever you are talking to somebody you should be courteous enough to show that you are interested in knowing what the other person is trying to communicate to you it is well said that courtesy is the oil that reduces friction that means if you are courteous if you are polite you are likely to reduce the chances of a collision or a chances of having a fraction or difference of opinion between other members. So, it is good that if you are polite, if you talk to the other person in a courteous manner and for that you need to respect that other person. If you respect the other person, automatically you will gain respect and your conversation would be a smooth one without any harms, without any difficulties. So if you want to emerge as a good speaker, please be courteous, be polite when you are talking with others. Listening ability, next you can see that listening ability again plays a very very important role in conversation. It is more about listening to what the other person says rather than speaking at your own. When you are in a conversation process or when you are talking to the other person, you should also give the opportunity to the other person to speak and listen to his or her conversation properly. Because if you do not listen to what the other person is trying to communicate to you, you will not be able to carry the communication that or the conversation that you are holding into the right direction. So listening is again very very important and as you will move ahead in the different in our modules you will see you will see that how listening plays a very very important role in our interviews especially in our group discussions. In a group discussion if you have a listening ability that is if you have a ability to listen to what the other person is trying to say you will be able to defend your case in a better manner. You will be able to present yourself in a more effective manner. So listening is something that is very very important in a conversation. Next we say it is honesty. Honesty at your part, at your uh, part or at the other part is very very important. 
whenever you are communicating to the other person be honest in your conversation and your honesty would be reflected in not only in your words but also in your body language if you are honest you can easily or the other person can easily make it out through your gestures through your body language through your eye contact that you are giving a honest information and you are being honest to that person so when you are honest automatically that positivity of your conversation or the positivity of what you want to communicate to others would be visible to all so try and be honest in your conversation when you whenever you are communicating with others try that you communicate with utmost honesty at your part even then only then the other person will also be honest to you when he or she is communicating to you technical control next as you see it is technical control now technical control again plays a very very important role by technical control over here we mean that is your voice modulations when you need to raise your voice when you need to keep your voice low when you need to modulate your voice all these things are very very important to make your conversation a interesting one because if you speak very flat without any intonations without any rise and fall in your pitch it would sound very boring and the other person may not find an interest in talking to you he may not be interested in sharing your views with you and your process of communication may be interrupted due to that so in order to make your conversation an interesting one you need to have a technical control over your voice and that would help you make your conversation a good one a better one next we say it is team member being a team member means giving equal opportunity to your teammates that is if you are in a gd for example or if you are a speaker and you have to address a big audience in that case give equal opportunity to everybody let everybody come out with their views good be a good team member be a good team player because if you give opportunity to the other to the other persons to speak you will and they will in turn be interested in your conversation and they will also listen to you so it is very important that you give equal opportunities to other persons as they communicate next we say improving your conversation there are certain things that you should keep in mind if you want to improve your conversation first thing we say have a genuine interest in people by me by the word genuine interest we mean it should not be just showing a slight interest as i said whatever you speak whatever you do it is quite obvious from your body from your body language from your eye ball movements to your gestures the other person can easily understand that whether you are making a show off or you are genuinely interested in knowing that person so please show that kind of interest and have that kind of genuine interest in the other person if you are genuinely interested in the other person automatically your conversation would be a good one and the other person will also share information with you it would be a proper give and take so if you do that you would have a good conversation you would develop your communication skills and you would emerge as a good communicator information we say information that you are sharing with the other person should be correct and you should know what information to what extent i have to share with the other person you should know and you cannot share everything and anything with everybody you need to draw a line that if i am talking to such and such person this much is the information that i have to share with that person if i am talking to my superiors this is the information the whole scenario honestly i have to tell to my superiors if i am talking to my subordinate i have to give him or her only this much of information if i am talking with my colleague i have to discuss this thing only with that colleague so how much of information at what level you should share with a 
person when the other person with whom you are communicating you should decide for him and if you decide that it would be better for you and you would know that this is the line where i should stop i don't have to share everything with everybody and experience for sure for sure will help you you need to have a lot of experience in the sense that where the more you interact with people the more you communicate with people you will get that experience of being a good speaker because very likely in the first or first conversation first two conversations three conversations you will make errors but you will also come to know that what are those errors and you need to know those errors errors at the same time rectify those errors rectifying those errors is very very important if you just overlook them you will continue making those errors again and again whenever you are communicating with people so try that you take a note of your errors whatever errors you have made in the conversation process or while communicating with others and then correct them rectify them so that next time you do not repeat those errors there are certain rules and norms that you should take care when in a relationship or when you are talking with others and let us discuss that the rules in the relationships that you should always maintain and that you should always keep in mind whenever you are communicating with people recognize basic needs what are the basic needs of people what is it that the person basically needs what is it that he or she is looking for so once you recognize the basic need of that person you would be able to frame your conversation according to his or her need whatever information he wants you would be able to give him that particular information and that would be easy on your part also and the other person's part also then we say be supportive that is it is very important that whenever you are conversing with other person you support the other party because your support will give encouragement to that person to speak and share information freely with you and that will help your communication be a very very strong one and that is why we say support the other person you can support through by your uh, gestures that is when the other person is sharing the information with you you can give slight nods you can make your eyebrow movements in such that is that other person understand that you are supporting that other person and not discouraging him or her be sensitive to what the other person says that is if there is some kind of information that he or she is hesitant to give or he or she doesn't want to give please do not insist on that be sensitive enough to understand that there must be some reason why he or she is not sharing this information with you so do not insist that you should be given that information understand from the clues understand from the body language that is being displayed to you and understand that this is something that he or she doesn't like to speak about and be sensitive about it respect that and move on to the other topic if you do that your conversation would be a good one give feedback as we earlier discussed feedback plays a very very important role whatever has been the conversation give a honest feedback that this this all for the information that i wanted to know i have received i wanted these all information more if it is good or if it is convenient at your part if you can please provide me with these information or it was good on your part that you gave me these information and i would appreciate if you can give me some information more on this topic so when you are giving the feedback to that person that person will feel happy and he would whatever is lacking he would furnish the information with that or you would furnish the details so in that matter your communication would be clear and transparent and that feedback mechanism will certainly help you in gaining more and more information from the other person develop mutual respect it is very important that you respect the other person we have been talking about respecting each other 
So if it, it is good that whenever you are talking to the other person, you show that respect and the concern as well to the other person through your words, through your gestures, through your body movements and the other person should also revert it in the same manner. And by doing this, by developing a mutual respect for each other, you would certainly improve upon your communication skills. Now let us just discuss about the don'ts that you should not do. Do not try and dominate your conversation. Often when we are in a flow, we are speaking, we do not bother that the other person also wants to contribute to that. We keep on suppressing the other person or we keep on ignoring the other person and continue with our conversation. Now if you are doing so, you are not doing it in a correct manner. You are not on the right track. You are not on the right path. So correct yourself. If you are dominating a conversation, as we have already talked about, give equal opportunities to other person. Do not be the center of attraction and try and dominate the conversation. If you are dominating your conversation, it is an alarming sign that you stop doing it and give equal opportunities to the other person. Use appropriate volume or pitch. That is, your pitch should neither be too high nor it should be too low that a person cannot understand what you are trying to communicate. Because if you have a very high pitch, it seems you are screaming, you are shouting. There is something that you want to emphasize on all the time. Now that is again very very wrong approach. So use a balanced pitch at times where you need to emphasize upon a thing, you can raise your pitch a little higher than the normal pace. Otherwise have a very very balanced pitch. That would help you again becoming a good and effective communicator. Often we have seen that people, they make excessive small talk. And when they are making excessive small talk, it becomes very difficult for the other person to carry forward that conversation. For example, if, somebody, if uh, there are two persons conversing and the first person asks, Hello, how are you? The other person says, Good, I'm fine, thank you. And the conversation stops. There's a gap. Now, what to start more? What do I speak up more? What all things should I add? This is a excessive small talk. So do not have very small talks. Have talks that are that talks about a little more in detail so that the other person get an idea of what you are trying to communicate. Very small talks with, do not add to conversation or do not give any information or do not give the information that you want to communicate to others. Again, there is a very very important thing that uh, we should take care and we should not do is visually ignoring somebody. If you see that in a conversation when you are conversing with people and the other person wants to communicate with you or with the speaker and the speaker tries to ignore the person, the person will feel a little irritated or he would feel so you will not feel good about it and if you do that your conversation would not be a good one neither would you be called a good speaker it is the quality of a speaker that he or she gives importance to the audience so the audience is very very important and you cannot and should not ignore the person whom, with whom you are communicating Again, there is a habit of constantly interrupting. Some people have a habit of constantly interrupting even before the communicator has finished. So give equal opportunities. Let the person first finish his or her conversation. Only then you try and give your input. Only then you try and present your ideas. Now if you continuously or constantly if you are interrupting the speaker, the flow gets 
disrupt, interrupted. Whatever the person has planned, prepared to share with the audience, he or she will be interrupted in that and he or she will not be able to carry that flow in the manner he or she has planned it. So please give that person that due space and after that person has finished, you put up your questions, your doubts, something that you have not understood, something that you need to clarify, all the doubts, confusions that you have but in a very very polite manner, in a manner that is uh, pleasing to the other person as well and the other person would be certainly happy to answer your queries. There are certain things that you should keep in mind while you are uh, in the process of becoming a good speaker or an effective speaker. The first thing that we say I mean, is observe, pause, get them involved. That is observe. Observe here refers to observe your audience. Take care of your audience. Look at your audience and have a clear observation about what they expect from you. Pause. Wait. Have a look. Take your time. And then start your conversation. And the last, get them involved. Make your audience involved or get your audience involved in the in your communication process. Because if you have an interactive session or your session would be an interactive one only when your audience participates into this process. So whenever you are talking to the other persons or whenever you are addressing a big crowd, try and be interactive. Get them involved. Observe your audience and get them involved in whatever you are trying to share with them. In that manner, your conversation would be a interesting one, would be a good one and you will also enjoy and the audience will also enjoy the conversation. We say, encourage people to speak. It is always said that great speakers make their audience as heroes. Now how do they make them heroes? By giving them opportunities to speak. If you are sharing something, if you have shared your own experience with your uh, audience, give that opportunity to others also. Tell them or encourage them to share their own experiences. Maybe you can get some more information on that. And when they are interacting, when they will be in the process of sharing their information, sharing their experiences with you, certainly you would find the session becomes an interactive one and you would enjoy not only you but the audience will also enjoy in talking to the speaker or sharing their views. So it is very important that you give importance to your audience and you interact with them. Just standing and giving a lecture or just talking to them, just uh, speaking about your part only will not help you become a good speaker. In order to be a good speaker, you need to encourage your audience to speak and converse more and more with you. Listen. Listen to what the other person has to say. We have already discussed that but still I would again emphasize over here because all of us are in a hurry to speak up or in a hurry to present our ideas. Hardly do we care that the other person also has some ideas to share. So listen to what the other person shares with you. Appreciate their ideas. Certainly when you appreciate the ideas of the other person, they will feel good and that feel good factor will flow in the audience and everybody would then be eager to share their ideas and in that process you would emerge as a good speaker. Comment on those ideas, appreciate these ideas, say that you have learned something good from them by sharing your own experiences and by getting a knowledge of what they have uh, told you. You have certainly gained a good knowledge or certainly you are very happy by saying all these things, by appreciating your audience time and again, you would certainly feel good and your audience will also feel good. Speak 
slowly and clearly. We are often in a rush to finish it up. Now, when you will be in a rush to finish it up, you will speak very fast. You don't take care of what you are speaking. So, when you are trying to be a good speaker, speak slowly. When you speak slowly, you make your each and every word clear. And when you speak slowly and clearly, the other person or the audience is able to understand it properly. So, take care of your pitch again over here. Whenever you are speaking slowly, take care that you are aware of your pitch. That what pitch you have taken or what all things you need to speak very slowly. They should, if you are having you know, some interactive games, if you are having some interactive sessions, you need to plan it accordingly so that you know, the audience can participate more and more in that and it becomes more interactive, more interesting and more encouraging. Frequently check for understanding after you have said something. Check for understanding that is make comments, make gestures or just put up questions, few questions. Am I clear? Have you all understood what I have said? Are there any doubts or confusions? Is there anything that anybody has not followed? Is there anything which you would like to tell me? Do I need to repeat it again? By asking your audience, you are checking for understanding. You will get an idea that what all things your audience have understood and what all things they have not understood if you frequently check for understanding. Now when you do that, your audience would be reciprocating to you or your audience would respond to you in a proper manner and if there is something that they have not understood they can then and there ask you and you can clear that. Choose your medium of communication very very effectively that is it is very important for you to know that whatever medium of communication you have taken it should be an effective one. If you decide that it would be a face to face conversation I am not going to use a PPT Take care that you have uh, prepared or rehearsed your conversation or your lecture or the speech that you are going to deliver in a, well, in a proper manner. If you decide that no, I should take up a PowerPoint and it is better for me to explain through the PowerPoint and I can face my audience through that. It is your call to take and when you choose your medium that is Wherever, whatever medium you have chosen, that is whether it is the face-to-face -face conversation medium or whether it is a tele, even some people they choose that uh, we would uh, be in a video conferencing mode, let us have a video conferencing mode. So whatever medium you choose, choose it effectively, choose it wisely in the way that you makes you comfortable, that makes the speaker comfortable in sharing the information with the others. There are certain recommendations that we would suggest for improving the quality of your conversation. In that we say, first is be the first one to say hello. And when you are introducing yourself, please take your first name. Introduce yourself with the first name. And even when you are taking, you are asking for the, you are giving your introduction or you are seeking the introduction of the other person, address the person with the first name. That makes it a little less informal and uh, you would be able to converse in a better manner because the ground for familiarity is laid through that. Think before you speak. Whatever you are going to speak, please think. I have always said, I have always suggested you that make a framework of what you are going to speak. It should not be uh, unless it is an impromptu communication, wherever where you have been asked to speak, come up and speak, even at that time, you should think twice what you are going to speak. What are you speaking? So when you think before you speak, you would make your conversation a better one. You would be aware of what you are going to speak. You would be aware of what you are going to share. Be receptive to new ideas. Please be open to new ideas. If somebody 
is sharing some information or some new thing to you, please be receptive to it. Please listen to that carefully. Appreciate that idea even if it is new to you. Because certainly a new thing is generally something which is difficult to take in. But if we learn the art of appreciation, we would be receptive to the new ideas and that could be uh, very well incorporated with your conversation. Ask questions if you are addressing somebody, if you are talking to persons and if you have not understood what the other person has said or if you have not understood some part of it, please ask Ask that person politely that I have not understood this or I would appreciate if you can please come to this point again. If you can just say these words or if you can just encourage the other person by saying these words, I am sure the other person will respond to you in a very very positive manner. Listen as much if not more than you speak. That is again listening. We have been speaking of listening. Listening plays a very very important role. If you listen carefully, you would be able to answer carefully or you would take care of what you are answering. So when you are listening properly to what the other person says, it means that you are showing a genuine interest in that other person. And when you do that, automatically that person feels or gets develops that bond of respect for you and you will gain respect through this by listening carefully to what the other person has to share with you. Use eye contact. Proper eye contact is very very essential. Whenever you are talking to somebody, make a proper eye contact. That is, you should look into the eyes of the person and speak. At times, you should give nods meaning that you are understanding. At times you need to give a small, you know, a little bit of, you need to smile also. Do not frown, do not keep on frowning every time or you know, do not keep on grumbling. Your facial expressions, they communicate a lot. If you frown, if you uh, keep on, you keep a very, very straight look, the other person will understand through that and he or she may not be interested in talking to you much. So, Take care that you manage a proper look. That is, whenever you are looking, whenever you are talking to the other person, you maintain a proper eye contact. Mirror the other person. Supposingly, you have to converse with somebody and uh, you have been given this assignment. So, mirror that person. Imagine that person is standing in front of you and rehearse yourself for that. So, when you rehearse, Automatically, when that person would be there and you would be talking to that person, it would not be difficult for you to communicate with that person. And have an exit strategy prepared. That means you should uh, plan an exit strategy also. That is how to close your conversation. You should begin your conversation properly. Again, the closing of conversation should also be proper. It should not be closed in a very very abrupt manner or a manner that a person find, finds it very difficult to take in. Your conversation should uh, end in a very very proper manner by thanking the audience, by come if you are talking with some with your friend or colleague, by inviting him or by talking in a manner that the person feels that yes, now it is the exit, now the conversation has stopped, now I do not need to put in more after that, after the exit has been declared or the exit has been made. Most importantly, be prepared. Prepare yourself for the conversation. Whenever you are communicating with people, you should take care of the audience with whom you are communicating and depending upon that, you should prepare yourself well. That's all for today. If you have any doubts, any queries regarding it, please ask me. Please feel free to communicate it to me and I will be happy to answer it. Thank you.